Let's get into the video. So you want to know about the Godox SL60 video light, huh? So about six months ago, I decided to make the purchase of getting the Godox SL60 uh, LED video light. I also got this with a 60 centimeter octagon softbox. I basically got this as an entry level key light that I can use to enhance the production quality of my video. So I remember when I first started making videos here for YouTube and for clients, I bought these cheap uh, softbox lights just off Amazon and they were actually surprisingly okay. They were pretty, you know, they, they were okay. Then I was getting a little bit better, a little bit more into gear and I was like, all right, let's take this up a notch. So I decided to buy the infamous cheap Niwa brand of LED video lights. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I actually had some high hopes for these lights, especially with the reviews, but to be completely honest, they were absolutely shit. Honestly, cannot stress how bad they were. Like, honestly, had the brightness of a wet candle, like, I can, I do not recommend at all. Pretty much anything's gonna be better than them, so just avoid it. I just wanna make it clear as well that it's just these lights I'm talking about. Niwa do make some other really great products at an affordable price. I'm just saying that these lights, so then I looked around and I looked up the reviews here of what people are saying on YouTube and what a lot of friends were saying in the videography space. And a lot of them said positive things about this light and it was a great entry level light to get your foot in the door of video lights. All right, so enough about me blabbering on. Let's get into the pros about this light. And it burns like a fire. So the first amazing thing about this light is you have the ability to control the color temperature, which basically means you can change the Kelvin to a cool 5600 Kelvin, or you can have it at a warmer Kelvin, entirely up to you and everything in between. Another great thing about this light is the color rating index. The SL60 has a color rating index of 96 plus, which for a light at this price point is extremely good. Obviously with more premium lights, there are lights that have better color rating index that push up into that 97, 98, and plus mark but for this price point cannot go wrong. So another thing I love about this light is the ability to be able to control the intensity so you can control it all the way from 10% up to 100% making sure that if you just want a little bit of a fill light or you want to use it as a key light it is perfect for all your needs. Another great thing about this light is they added a universal Boeing's mount onto the end. So essentially you can add universal light modifiers like a softbox or a lantern or you know a spotlight whatever it may be onto the end so you can get the desired look and feel for your videos. Another great feature is the ability to be able to group these lights together. So essentially if you have multiple Godox lights from the same family you can actually group all of these lights together and control them all from the one place or from the same remote. Pretty cool. And lastly, my absolute favorite feature of this slide is of course, it comes with a remote. So I can literally set my camera up to film videos just like this one, have the imaging streaming out to my phone to see what my shot looks like and control the intensity of the light as my key light all from the palm of my hand. So I don't have to get up every five seconds, change the intensity of the light, recheck the camera, make sure I'm exposed correctly and everything like that. I can literally just look at the imaging app on my phone and change the intensity and the color contrast and the color temperature as I see the image through my stream. So super, super helpful and it saves a lot of time. However, as you know, nothing is ever perfect. I'll be honest, as much as I love this light, there are a few cons that you have to take into consideration. For one, there's no case. It literally just comes in a box and say, here you go, here's your light. So you do have to fork out extra money to go and grab a case or a Pelican case or a hard case or a bag, whatever you want to use to put your light in. Um, so that is one downside. Next is the fan. So the fan at the back of the light actually is quite loud once it gets going, especially when you're using higher intensities of the light and for longer periods of time. 
It's just something to keep in mind, especially if you're shooting in a quiet environment or you're doing like a voiceover or something like that, that the fan can be a little bit noisy. So just keep that in mind. So the light is made from plastic, which does concern me sometimes. I do a lot of running gun stuff. I'm taking this in my car, out of my car, to shoot on set, everything in between. And basically I need to make sure the light's reliable and it's good quality. It hasn't let me down so far, but I'm just waiting for the day. Because essentially, because the parts are plastic, if they break, you're essentially fucked. Lastly, my biggest pet peeve with this light is is it has no option to be portable. Basically, what this means is the SL60 has to be plugged into some form of a PowerPoint that is no batteries or portable power option. But for the price of 200 bucks, you literally can't go wrong with this light. For the time being, until I can afford those more premium lights, this is my main key light I'm using for all my videos that be on YouTube and in client productions. Extremely impressed with the quality that I've received from this light thus far. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, make sure you head over to my Instagram, check out all the behind the scenes of all the shoots and everything I do over there. And of course, until next time, stay golden. It's starting to look alright in here, eh? It's slowly coming together, and yes, before you ask, there is a video.